Hey guys, some trades are just easier than others and that's why some of the trades that they're not talking about in the general media today are way underpriced on the put side. So when LLY goes high, what do we do? We short it. Not so long ago, guys, when it had the earnings announcement. You see this big ass red candle right here? Yes, we shorted it. At the moment, the stock opened. Well, within minutes that day, it dropped uh, over 50 points. And we think it's about to repeat uh, not just one red candle, but it's about to make three red candles uh, from this level. Uh, today, it shoots up to a level of 764, which is slightly higher than it was trading pre-market the day of the earnings report when during the market open, we got this red candle. So it's at that highly shortable uh, level. Of course, Kramer and everyone else uh, in the news, they love this stock uh, more. It's a question like, which stock do they love more, NVIDIA or Eli Lilly? Uh, is Kramer gonna get a dog and name them LLY uh, na or name her Lily. I don't know if it's gonna be a he or a she, but uh, probably something like that wouldn't even surprise anyone if he announced that he got another dog besides Nvidia. So the point is this guys, when the market is hyped up like this, and I mean, guys, I remember the stock at a hundred bucks. Uh, and of course it's not, as stratospheric as SMCI, which is another perfect entry on the short side today. But guys, LLY, it's a beautiful setup, simply from the standpoint that it's hitting the same level, it's making a slight overshoot, and from here we can get three big ass red candles like this, which could put the stock closer to the 680 level. Yeah, um, it dropped here the day of the earnings announcement, dropped, um, to like 691, 692. So I think it can actually go below that 680 over the course of the next four trading days. So this is a beautiful short. You won't hear anybody else shorting it. Everybody else is waiting for the uh, results um, on some drugs that could be applicable to uh, a, a great number of uh, people in, all over the world. But guys, all of that shit is already priced in. They're waiting for the news in the next few, few weeks. But just like as we've seen, uh, sometimes stocks do sell off in the expectation of something. I think there's going to be some major profit taken. Considering if you study the bear case of a volume divergence here, the higher the stock goes from these levels of 660 all the way to today, 764. So within that 100 point move, price appreciation higher, what happens to the volume? Well, there's less and less and less and less and less and less fucking buyers. So we are almost at that point where who's going to buy it here? Everyone that could have bought the stock already have bought it. So if nobody's buying, hey, guess what? There's only a few sellers that could bring that stock back down to these levels. All we need is just to see a little bit of selling. And this stock is at a such critical level right now to where it's not going to take even many sellers. It's not even going to take as many sellers as, as a lot of people were selling. You clearly you can see this red bar that coincides with this big red candle. I mean, it's not even going to take even that kind of heavy selling to make sure that this stock drops back to like this area, possibly even close the gap to 660. So potential. 50 to 100 point move in the making here. And the greatest news, guys, is those 720, 730 strike puts, they're pennies on the dollar. You can pick them up 20 cents, 40 cents on the dollar right now, while the whole world still awaits this stock to go to 800, 900, 1,000. At one point, I'm sure it could get there, but not now. So this is a perfect entry on LLY while the rest of the market is fucking asleep. Move to LLY, trade it like a rock star, trade it with a 32 Market Moves coach. Let's roll, big money, possible 10x, 20x trade right here on LLY. Let's roll.